Thank you. Thank you very much. Wow. Um, first and foremost, I want to say that I was humbled backstage by Connie's very, very emotional, touching words. Um, she is truly a hero, and uh, starting today is a hero to me going forward. Um, so congratulations on that, my dear. It's really humbling, doctor. Um, I'd like to thank Jim White, and I'd like to thank Kevin, Ryan. Uh, I want to thank Star for being here, too, up here tonight. And I want to thank all of you for supporting Covenant House. It's Covenant House's long history working throughout the world that gives them the young people of this world, not just food and shelter, but a voice, an opportunity to be heard. I would very much like to congratulate my dear friend and board member of the Soul Foundation, Leo Carlin, for his tireless advocacy on behalf of the Covenant House. And uh, I really want to celebrate the poor man who often has to sit in my shadow in front of his mom and his dad and to say that none of this would happen without Leo Carlin. So thank you very much. <laughs> Again. There are many of you here tonight, like Leo, who have earned this award much more than I. But on behalf of all of those who really dare to make a difference, I'll just say thank you for the continuing inspiration. To be named the co-recipient of this prestigious award is both humbling and very much appreciated. I'm grateful because it gives an opportunity to face and to focus on the challenges that many Covenant House youth have to overcome for a successful transition to their adult lives. As I said last week in Washington, D.C., at the conclusion of the work of the White House Council for Community Solutions on which I serve, the real truths came from the meetings across the nation with America's youth. Many like we met and heard from even here tonight who shared with me their stories, explained their challenges, in order to create opportunity and solutions for those who will follow in their footsteps. And to go off script just for a moment, if I may, I, um, as a kid growing up in suburban New Jersey, in 1980, started taking a bus into Manhattan pursuing my dreams, which was to make music. And I used to go back and forth to suburban New Jersey with the blessing of my mom and dad and our little suburban wonderful house where I was blessed with food on the table and a clean, safe place to call home. And I was oftentimes stuck at the mouth of the Lincoln Tunnel, where if the, those of you who have been there long enough know where the Greyhound Station and the old Covenant House were. And I would see kids that there by the, you know, the grace of God go I. You know, they went to the left and I went to the right. And I was inspired and I wrote a song called Runaway in 1982. It was that song that I walked into a radio station with in 1983 and says, I've got the right chords and a cool melody. And play this song for me. And it touched a nerve because I got a record deal and 30 years later, I'm here because of those kids that I saw on that street. Many of them... I hope turned up on Covenant House's front door and not somewhere worse. But for my visits with the youth of the Covenant House Rites of Passage program in Philadelphia that we helped to finance, it was clear that the youth there would feel better equipped to become contributing members of society when engaged through strong links to service programs, to education, and to job training opportunities. So what I said in that long-haired commercial back in the mid-80s <laughs> still applies today. If you're serious about getting off the street, call Covenant House. Now, I don't want to preach to the choir because I, I understand that all of you are here because you too believe. But CH is a, a start for many youth who want to get off the streets. As Leo alluded to, the power of we is the slogan by which we live in our foundation. And we all know that it is our job to convince youth that we are here for them, to work with them, to hear their voices, to provide that hope that once again they can believe in dreams that they harbored as young people. <laughs> I want to congratulate the youth who are here using their voices, shining in that bright beacon of a spotlight tonight. I hope that they get to enjoy this celebration that I'm sharing with you and with them and you're sharing with me. I want you to know one last thing. Our greatest resource is America's youth. 
Thank you very much for your time. Thank you for being here. It's a very humbling and honored, very, very humbling and honored moment for me. Thank you and enjoy the rest of tonight's performance. Good night.